Okay, today we are going to learn about the axillary artery, which is the content of uh, axilla. Axillary artery supplies the wall of axilla and related region and continues as a major blood supply to the more distal part of the upper limb. The subclavian artery in the neck becomes the axillary artery at the later margin of the rib one and passes through the axilla, becoming the brachial artery at the inferior margin of the teres major muscle. The axillary artery is separated into the three parts by the pectoris minor muscle which crosses anteriorly to the vessel. So we can see here it is starting at the lateral margin of the or lateral border of the first rib and continuing downward to the lower border of the teres major muscle so before it it is the subclavian after this it is the brachial artery so between the subclavian and the brachial we got here axillary artery it is closely related to the cords of the brachial plexus and their branches and it is also enclosed within the axillary sheath with the other structures in the axilla. It is crossed anteriorly by the pectoris minor muscle as we can see here. And it is divided into the three parts. First part proximal to the pectoris minor, second posterior to this and the third part is distal to the pectoris minor. Let's talk about the first part of the axillary artery. First part is starting from the lateral border of the first rib to the upper border of pectoris minor. And anteriorly, it is related to the pectoris major muscle, which is cut off here, and lateral to the cords of the brachial plexus. First part is having the one branch, and this branch is named as superior thoracic artery. It is a small and originating from the anterior surface of the first part of the axillary artery. It supplies the upper region of the medial and the anterior axillary wall. Let's talk about the second part of the axillary artery that is behind the pectoris minor muscle. It is related medially, laterally, and posterior to the corresponding cord of the brachial plexus. Second part is having the two branches, thoracoacromial artery and the lateral thoracic artery. So right at the medial border of the pectoris minor, under that we are having the branch coming out, that is the thoracoacromial artery. It is short and is curved around the superior margin we can also say the superior or the middle margin of the muscle and penetrating into the clavipectoral fascia and after that it is dividing immediately dividing into the small four branches these small branches named as pectoral deltoid clavicular and the acromial branches they are supplying the anterior wall of the axilla and related region. Additionally, the pectoral branch is also contributing to give the supply to the breast. From the inferior border, or you can say uh, the lower border, a lateral border of the pectoris minor muscle, right posterior to this is having the branch we call the lateral thoracic artery. So talking about the lateral thoracic artery, it supplies the medial and anterior wall of axilla. In women, branches emerge around the inferior margin of pectoris major muscle and contribute to the vascular supply of the breast too. The third part 
of the axillary artery. Third part extending from the lower border, lateral border of the pectoral spinal muscle to the lower border of the teres major muscle. And is also related to the medial, lateral and posterior to the branches of the cords of the branchial plexus. It is giving the three branches. Number one, the subscapularis. Number two, anterior circumflex humeral artery. Number three, the posterior circumflex humeral artery. So let's talk about the first branch from the third part of axillary artery that is a subscapular. Subscapular actually it is the largest branch of the axillary artery and uh, it is the major blood supply which is supplying to the posterior wall of axilla. It also contributes to the blood supply to the posterior scapular region divided into two terminal branches. Those terminal branches are the circumflex scapular artery and thracodorsal artery. The circumflex scapular artery passes through the triangular space contributing to an anatomous network of vessels around the scapula at the backside. The second branch is the thracodorsal artery of the subscapular that is following the lateral border of the scapula to the inferior angle and contribute to the vascular supply to the posterior and the middle wall of the axilla. Let's talk about the anterior circumflex humeral artery. Anterior circumflex humeral artery is originating from the lateral side of the axillary artery and it is a small as compared to the posterior circumflex humeral artery and uh, it passes anterior to the surgical neck of the humerus and anatomosis with the posterior circumflex humeral artery. The anterior circumflex humeral artery supplies to the surrounding tissue which include the glenohumeral joint and the head of the humerus. Let's talk about the posterior circumflex humeral artery. Posterior circumflex humeral artery originates from the lateral surface of the third part of the axillary artery immediately posterior to the origin of the anterior circumflex humeral artery. With the axillary nerve it is leaving the axilla by passing through the quadrangular space. We have a complete lecture on the shoulder and we have explained about the quadrangular space and the content passing through that. The posterior circumflex humeral artery curve around the surgical neck of the humerus and supply the surrounding muscles and also the glenohumeral joint. It anastomosis with the anterior circumflex humeral artery and with branches from the profundi brachii suprascapular and the throcochromial arteries. Here we go to the summary of the axillary artery. It's starting and ending point and it's three parts and each part is having the branches. It is very interesting information. The first part is having the one branch, second part is having the two branches, third part is having the three branches. Here we go to one picture labeled already from the book representing the origin and the termination of this artery is three parts. Thank you very much.